Hey guys, it's the Doodoo -doo Talks and welcome. I wanted to do something a little bit differently for this video and talk about going to gigs on your own, which I've done quite a fair bit. I've always felt that there was some kind of negative stigma towards it, like you're kind of a loner or weird or you're just like a kind of sad sack with no friends, which yeah, I kind of am. But, yeah, I kind of wanted to just talk about it. And, um, for example, I remember going to this gig and I was talking to someone on Facebook about it. Now, don't judge, it was Def Cab for Cutie. And she said, basically, that she couldn't go because she had no one to go with and she didn't really want to be one of those saddles that goes to gigs on her own. I should have called her on it and said, not really a saddle when I went on my own. Does that make me sad? But I didn't. And with things like that, I kind of felt a bit ashamed to say something like that. Because I people would might think that I'm weird or just, you know, a loner or, you know, weird. So that's why I kind of wanted to talk about it in a way to shine some light on it and see if anyone else thinks the same or whatever. Sometimes um, asking a friend, to, do you want to go to a gig with me, can be quite difficult because there's a likely chance that they haven't heard of the band that I want to go and see and I kind of feel like I'm dragging them along or whatever. So, yeah, obviously going to gigs on your own can be a bit lonely. I know I've felt it quite a lot sometimes and when people try and talk to me, I kind of deflate. Like, um, some guy came up to me and shot my hand, which was really cool, and I was, like, trying to think of things to say, and I was like, uh So, yeah, I've, as you well know, I've got really shit social skills. But what I do like about going to gigs is, like, I have my own headspace, and I can just enjoy the band without people, you know, like, talking. And then... And it irritates me when you know, like people in front of you are just chatting endlessly while the band is playing. That really fucking irritates me. So when I'm on my own, I know that I'm just like in my own headspace and just like no one's talking. And obviously, you just go there to um, watch bands anyway. It's like going to the cinema. You don't intentionally talk while the main film's on. You just go in there to watch it. So kind of not a big deal. Obviously, it can be seen more fun with a friend or a girlfriend, which I've done. But sometimes I feel kind of bad because I'm dragging them along and they may not enjoy it as much as I do. And my last piece of advice is really helpful in sold out gigs where you want to get to another place like the bar or to the toilet and you kind of don't want to squ squish past people and it if you see, like, a crowd of people, like, going, you know, somewhere, and best thing to do is to sort of, like, latch onto them. Not, you know, literally, like, that would probably get you punched, but, you know, like, follow them. So they, like, plough through the crowd, and you can get where you want to go. That actually really helped me in Explosions in the Sky at the Albert Hall, which was just, like, the trash compactor out of Star Wars. Yeah, and it helped me move across the place freely. So, yeah, that's it for me. Um, have you got any, like, tips on how to survive gigs on your own or anything like that? Please let me know in the comments. And if you want to go to a gig on your own and you're feeling, like, quite lonely or whatever, just come find me. If, obviously... It's whether a gig I'm going to, but yeah, come find me. We don't have to talk or anything. We can just like, just sit, sit or stand in silence or whatever. So yeah, I, I really hope you like this video. Um, please like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll do another video on a gig pretty soon. All right, keep it real. Bye. So... Uh, you're not done with me yet. Um, down here 
is some other videos and somewhere around here is the subscribe button where you want to if you want to subscribe if you like socially awkward people talk about shit and mispronounce words and cool stuff like that 